In-depth investigative. This is KXAN News at Noon. Welcome back on this Monday afternoon. U.S. Senators unveiled their bipartisan $118 billion package for border enforcement and for Israel, Ukraine and other allies aid for them. The bill includes $20 billion to reduce crossings at the U.S.-Mexico border and tighten the border asylum system. If passed, this agreement would be the most aggressive border security bill in decades. The Biden-Harris administration issued statements last night strongly supporting the bipartisan partisan agreement and called on Congress to immediately pass the legislation. The battle on the border continues, of course, between Texas officials and the federal government. Joining us now to break down some of the complex components of this bill is University of Texas professor Nestor Rodriguez, who specializes in, among other things, immigration. Thanks for joining us this afternoon. Thank you for inviting me. So looking at this bill, in your opinion, what's in it that will help to curb uh, the illegal crossings at the border? Well, there are several things. One is more uh, resources to recruit more Border Patrol officers more training, but also it specifies conditions under which the president may consider closing down the border, must consider it, or is required to consider closing the border based on how many people are apprehended crossing without permission. And what's not in the bill regarding securing the border that could really help garner more support, Professor, from both sides? Well, I think from my perspective, it would be working with the local communities that are more impacted directly on a daily basis by immigration, but also having better coordination with the Mexican side, because that's the big fear that when people are, are not allowed to come into the United States in large numbers, that they, they have to stay in Mexico, and Mexico is not the most secure place in the world right now, and so that they may be, de they may be exposed to dangers on the Mexican side. So more, co more coordination, more communication. Okay. This is a very hot political issue in an election year. Mm -hmm. uh, the House Speaker has already said that if it gets to the House, if it makes it that far, that it's dead on arrival. So let's ask you, what are the chances of something like this passing? I, I would say right now, from what we're seeing and hearing, that the chances are low. Uh, one side wants to just completely right now lock down the border. Uh, another side says well, we need to get there more gradually, and so there's a great debate and uh, to one extreme side and another side are facing off. Mm. Mm. And then lastly, Republicans argue President Biden could do more now without action from Congress. So taking the bill out of the equation, what power does the president have to help stop this surge? Well, the power that the, of course, is based on what laws are made that the president has to implement, right? So. And it also depends on the personality of the president. We saw uh, uh, President Trump building this wall across the border. So perhaps Biden can take more initiative, but for their political reasons that are involved as well, uh, what Biden is doing may not be as, as harsh or as restrictive as others would like. Okay, Professor Nestor Rodriguez from the University of Texas, thanks for taking time out for us today. Thank you. Mm -hmm.